The ADL program, or the Applied Digital Learning program at Lamar University is a collaborative learner-centered program that encourages you to embrace technology innovations through collaborations and active and authentic learning. The innovation plan or project becomes the authentic learning opportunity that is central to the CSLE plus COVA framework that we use. We've created a significant learning environment uh, in which we give you choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. The authentic learning opportunity is your innovation plan, and you get to choose that. Why is this important? Our why is summed up as we believe that we must inspire and prepare our learners to lead organizational change using technology innovations as catalysts for enhancing learning. To do this, as I've mentioned earlier, we create a significant learning environment where we give our learners choice, ownership, and voice through authentic learning opportunities. We ultimately prepare leaders who can lead organizational change and drive innovation in a digitally connected world. In short, you get to choose and create and build an innovation plan that will change your learning environment regardless whether it's a school, a higher education, or a corporate work environment or the not profits. Your innovation plan will become the central project that you develop in the first course in the ADL program, uh, EDL D5305. And the key thing that you need to keep in mind with an innovation plan is that it is going to take anywhere from a year to two years to implement, maybe even longer. And it will be an actual real project you can actually implement in your learning environment. If you've come into the ADL program through another um, avenue and are taking the last uh, four courses in our program, you too can select a uh, an innovation plan, uh, but you don't get to build out the proposal, the uh, organizational change strategy, but the idea for the innovation plan itself will be the same for where, who, wherever you start the program at. Since we are several decades into the 21st century and online and blended learning have been well established over the last two decades, it is important to remember that any type of an initiative that you are going to incorporate will actually have to include some form of blended or online blended learning type of a format. Uh, the last several years of COVID have uh, confirmed something that I've been saying since the early 90s, that this is the real world that we work in. Um, if you aren't working with your students in an online, fully online or a blended or hybrid format, then you are really uh, not taking advantage of all the benefits that technology will bring about. So even if you're not sure what you're planning to do with your innovation plan, the resources that we have on blended learning are extremely important for you to take that, take a look at because they'll give you a foundation for what you want to be able to do. Now, blended learning uh, can be incorporated in a variety of different ways. Similarly, ePortfolios can be popular tools. Um, ePortfolios, makerspaces, um, career ePortfolios, robotics clubs, computational thinking, programming camps, uh, engineering clubs, um, eSports, um, blended learning and project-based learning combined together, for, for example, in a uh, civics or social study type of environment. Uh, in the corporate sector, we often see uh, examples of uh, blended learning being used to either implement training or entire curriculum. Um, and uh, the, it, it goes on and on. Digital offices are, are very, very common. Um, online blended learning for the corporate sector to save time um, is another common example. There's a lot of opportunity to create uh, innovation in your learning environment. Um, and it's just a matter of looking around your particular circumstances and figuring out what can you really do? What can you bring about? Perhaps one of the most important things that you have to decide is, can I actually implement this? Um, unfortunately, trying to fake it in an environment where you're, we're asking you to use an authentic learning opportunity will actually lead to a lot of challenges. The more authentic this is, meaning the sooner you can actually implement this or start to implement this as you're going along, the more uh, significant your learning experience will be.
It also bears repeating that blended learning can be combined with almost any other type of an initiative. There can be a blended learning project-based learning initiative. These work exceptionally well in environments where you want students to work within the community and do a lot of collaboration and work on real things. This can really make a significant impact in, in your learner's uh, uh, progress. It also bears repeating that if you are in the business sector or the corporate world, there are many, many opportunities uh, and advantages to implementing blended learning, whether it's in a training type of a scenario or in a curriculum development scenario or even in a publishing scenario. So blended learning becomes sort of a foundational aspect that you can bring to many other innovation projects and, and it can be combined with something else. So if you're not certain about where you want to start, look to blended learning as a starting point. And then as you're looking at your environment, you can then uh, be in a better position to make a decision exactly as to where you want to focus. Now, what doesn't work as an innovation plan or a project? There is a tendency to look at something like professional learning or professional development as an innovation project. This doesn't work. These um, innovation plans or projects are part of a bigger structure. And within the ADL program, we have a specific course that deals with professional development or professional learning. That is one part of a bigger picture. It's not a big enough project. I know there's a tendency for people to see, oh, we're going to do an innovation. We'll train people and then we'll implement it. And as we've seen, these types of innovations, or as the research shows, these types of innovation projects fail. The failure rate is exceptionally high. We're, we're into the high 70s, high, um, low 80% failure rate. So if you want to be successful, don't think about doing PD as the project or PL. That is going to be one of the things you're going to do. Also, developing an information website, a portal, or a resource. Well, guess what? You're going to be developing an e-portfolio uh, in this uh, program, and that becomes your portal. You are, you are already developing that. That is a given, and that is not worthy of a project because it's just something that we all do. And most of the times, um, you are going to control your own e-portfolio, or your institution is going to be controlling their portal, and you don't have a lot of say over what's going to happen in it. So these information sites that you want to develop, the best way to do it is within your own e-portfolio, but that's not a project because you're going to be asked to do that anyway. Um, single courses, one-offs, small little initiatives, um, anything that is going to take a month or two or less really isn't going to fit. You want to take a look at something that's going to last a, a minimum of, you know, 18 months to two years. Um, any type of a blended learning initiative, uh, whether it's online blended learning or project place project-based blended learning um, is going to take a minimum of a year to implement in terms of testing it, experimenting or implementing, getting people up and running, doing the pilot, testing, getting the results, and then making the iterations, and then trying to implement with a larger group. So you're looking at 18 months to two years uh, for the project to become something realistic. And so you have to choose something large enough, big enough that will have an impact. The key thing is look around you. There are many opportunities. One of the things I always encourage people to do is, what is bothering you? What problem needs to be solved? What issue um, could uh, a, 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 an innovation strategy address? You more than likely have two or three opportunities right in front of you within your workspace um, that are just crying to be dealt with. Find one that is doable, that you can implement, and that will take uh, you know a, a couple of years to do, a year to two years to do, and that might be a great place to start.